Okay, so now what we do, where we fitted that fixing in the roof, luckily Land Rover have put a little cross on here for us, which is the centre of where you've got to drill. So obviously they designed this with the accessory fitting in mind. Um, what you need is a 19mm drill. We'll put these in with the kit um, when we supply it, if you buy it through us. So you've got the 19mm blade drill here. And what we need to do is drill that 19mm hole there. It's very soft plastic as you can see, that, that wood drill has drilled through there. It looks a little messy, you can clean that up with a knife, but to be honest, when you, none of that will be seen. But there we go, that's, that's that, and now that's ready to put back onto the roof now. Okay, so now you can see we've come back up onto the roof, we've got the fit in here, this is the hole we drilled, that's going to fit through there. We're going to start putting this back in now, so we're going to put these two little, these little tongues there, line them up there okay like so when, now we do have to push this down but we're going to leave that there just engaged for the minute work the way to the front okay now what we've got to do is make sure we get this little fir tree in the little hole there okay and give that a little bit of a push okay then a couple of things we've got to watch is we've got to watch that front holes coming through there and we've got to watch that front bit of plastic there tucks in behind the rubber. So do you want to come down the front there, Tom? And uh, we can just, I think that's going to be the trickiest bit there. Right then, so if I just push the fir tree in a, a little bit more and then I'm just going to tuck that under there so he's under the trim, okay? And then click that into place. Push that all back into place, okay, that's fine. And then I'm just gonna now where we've got the two clips, so it's on those docking stations. You've really got to give it a bit of a, a whack, especially at the back here, to get that to go in. And you should hear it click. Okay, so that's that clicked into place. Okay, so we're now ready to fit the the bars to the roof. So I've lined up the fittings there at the back. You can see the long bolts with the washers. I'll show you it in more detail as we get closer, and then the front one. So, right, Tom, if you want to bring the bar in, right, so there's the bar, line the bar up, and then at the front, do you want to put that front rubber foot on in, in the sandwich there first, Tom? Okay, so we've put the front rubber foot in, and by putting that front leg in first, don't worry about bolting it, that holds the rack and is going to stop it falling over and, and damaging the roof of the car, okay? And then we can focus. I'll swap. Is that going to be stable there, Tom? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, and then we can go round and start to look at the rear, okay? So if I just show you the shapes of the... So obviously the, the shapes are fairly self-evident, but you can see you've got these gaskets. Right, now on the rear, what we do have to do is put in these washers. So these are sort of top hat shape, if I can get it right. And so the top hat goes down, it goes that way, and it goes into the little recess in the plastic there, if you can see that. And they sit in nicely there. Okay, and the same for this this other foot here. So if I position that into there, like so. Okay, and then we need to put the, the gaskets on. Can I pass the camera to you, Tom? I'm running out of... Okay, so I'm just gonna rest the gasket. Now the gasket's got these little feet that stick up there. I'm not sure you can see those on the video. Okay, and they actually push up into some holes in the we move positions a bit with the camera now so we've got a better view for you so we've got that front foot in okay then the middle rubber gasket that fits up into there and then it's a question of getting the longer bolts so it's the longer bolts with the washer on top okay and get a suitable allen key and then looking from the top you can line it up with the the holes where those original fir tree fixings were. So careful not to cross thread them. Okay, I won't do any of them too tight yet. We'll just make sure we've got them all in. And obviously just check your gaskets are, are square. As it clamps down, it'll bring them into shape. Nicely again. I'm just going to check we've got everything aligned in here. Got the wash 
is annoying. That's it, yeah, there we go. So that's the second one. Right then, but I'll come and tighten those up in a minute. And then let me move over to the front one. So again, this is the smaller, shorter screw in the front. There's no washer here. You can see the, the, the upstand of that special bolt that we fitted earlier. That's there already exposed. Okay. All right, now we've got them all. So in. before we tighten these bolts fully, what we've, we've left them a little bit loose, so we've got a little bit of flex. And what we're gonna do now is put this cross member on. So this cross member is held in with two screws, two bolts here. Um, on the underside, it's difficult to see them in the video, but we've connected the other side and what we're going to do now is we're going to connect this side in and then when we've done that we can finally tighten the screws and put these plastic covers over to finish the job off. Um, so I'm going to have a go now at getting these screws in. It's a little torturous because you've got to get round under the back side. You've got to line it up. Um, in fact, if you just give me the camera, Tom, a minute, let me just show people. So on the inside of the of the bar, you can see we've got these two captive nuts on the roof rail, and then we've got two holes in the end of the bar, and we've just got to thread those through. So um, it's gonna it's a little bit of trial and error. Now you may choose not to fit this crossbar, but we recommend you do for the strength of the complete rack. Okay, so I've got the screw through. Okay. Well, that feels good. And then we've made up this sort of tool here, Tom, if you want to show us to get the, the best adaption. Now to make sure I don't cross thread it, I'm just gonna drive it in with the the tool itself first to check we've got a I've got I'm not cross threaded on those screws. Okay, so we'll do that one and the second one, and rather than make a slow video with you watching me fit these in, then we'll come back and show you the final step in so a second. So we're left with the final jobs now of tightening up these bolts, and then fitting the caps. Okay. So that's those talk. Let me just do the front one for completeness while you're there. Can't actually reach this bit without getting on the roof. Okay, so now they're tight and it's a question of fitting the end caps in. So we've laid the end caps out on the roof, so this is the front one. Okay, there's a little bit of tape under here, double-sided tape. If we just gently pull that back there, okay. Remove that. You can see here the fixing is this here goes into that hole there. So we need to push down in this area when we've got it fitted. You got the little lip there just tucks under the end of the bar. Line that up in okay, a place. Get that in place and then push down here. Okay, so there we go. So that's that clicked into place. Then what we've got to do is do the middle one, which is this one which covers this fixing. Okay, 
And the best way to do it is wrap it round under the front of there and then pull the top. Pull the top round there so that that clamps round like so. Okay, and this is the rear cover to go on. And again, you've got a little bit of double-sided tape just to remove there. And again, you've got this hook section here that's going to go into the hole there. So just remember that you're pushing in this area. And we've got the little lip we're going to tuck under the bar. So tuck the lip in under the bar. Okay, just have a look where that rear clip needs to go. In there. Okay, and then when it's in position, it's just a question of giving it a final tap down into place like so right nearly finished the last bit we need to do is this cover here now this goes on the underside of the cross member um, they are marked left and right if you read the plastic so let me make sure I've got the left one that's the left one this for this side of the car we need this one so we're going to put these two fingers up first and then these two straddle over the screw heads that we've put in okay so do you want to it's going to be tricky to see on the video guys but there we go it goes in at that angle the, the middle end first and then that clips up like so and that if you now zoom out Tom get back up on the ladder or zoom out from there that's the job finished so they can see the appearance of that.